We had actually went to my father's for the weekend, um, had been in the pool playing, having a good time. Kinley had used the restroom. As she came out of the house, it was uh, unannounced, and Kinley went into the swimming pool. Mommy came out looking for her, yelling Kinley's name. Uh, I heard my father yell no, and when he yelled no, I knew immediately something was wrong. I don't even remember getting out of the water onto the pool deck. I just remember saying, give her to me, give her to me, give her to me. Started compressions and then went to breaths and then back to compressions and back to breaths. We had been told that she wasn't gonna make it. Uh, and then we were told that if she did make it, there was a really good likelihood that she would never be the same kid that we knew. But she's the same kid that she's always been. They basically told us the CPR is what kept her alive and what kept the oxygen going through her body and ultimately is probably what saved her life. Just by giving somebody compressions and breaths, you can save their life. Uh, and I want to give that back to folks. I want folks to know it's that simple and it's that easy. I've had millions of people come up and tell me how heroic that is and it's really not that heroic. It's, it's something that's very easy to do if you would just do it. Two thousand five, two thousand six school year was my first year as superintendent. It was a tragic year for the Pekin High School community. In September of that year, we lost three of our sophomore students to a car crash. That was followed about a month later by two freshman students who were involved in mini bike accident. And then in the spring of that year, another student died in a car crash. So to lose six students in the course of a school year is uh, certainly unthinkable, but very, very difficult to deal with. It wasn't just Pekin Community High School that was affected. Countywide, there were 15 or more uh, in, a, in a calendar year's period, and so we felt we needed to do more. I served on a task force uh, for the Secretary of State's office on teen driving. As a result of that, we have a mandatory meeting for parents that they need to attend before their teen takes driver's ed so that we can provide them a handbook from the National Safety Council so that they can see parent-teen contract and give them ideas about how to help their teen be a safer driver. We hope involving the parents at the outset helps to remind them that we need to be partners in helping to keep our teens safe. And we haven't had any fatalities since the 2005-2006 school year. The resources provided to us by the National Safety Council in terms of their publications have been instrumental in helping us to educate our students and our parents. Mm -hmm.